have under 20,000 pounds of dirt. This is the scariest thing I have ever done. All right, well, I guess it's time. Bury me alive. <laughs> oh, that was scary. This has got to be terrifying. Yeah, this is pretty much most people's worst fear. Oh my gosh, that dirt is terrifying. Brace yourself. <laughs> Drop the payload. Oh gosh, I feel like I need to hold the roof. Oh, oh, my, oh my roof is shaking. <laughs> I'm entrusting my life to this coffin for the next seven days. Let's pray it doesn't just randomly decide to break. And obviously this goes without saying, but yes, this is 100% real. And I'll be honest, I severely underestimated how hard this was gonna be. And with that, the challenge has officially started. I am now trapped in here for the next seven days. It took the boys so long to bury me alive that I already have to pee and the challenge just started. In case you're wondering how I use the bathroom down here, well, yeah. This is so uncomfortable. All I have to survive the next seven days, ah, my foot, is the food in this briefcase, which is basically just some MREs and snacks. Ah, my foot went numb. A five gallon drum of water over there, and whatever essentials the boys put in this briefcase, which probably means I'm gonna run out of food way before the seven day mark. In all seriousness, this is extremely dangerous. And so I don't suffocate, I need to make sure people are watching me at all times. Jimmy, can you hear this? Yeah, it sounds like Nolan's mom is jumping on the surface. <laughs> if we had 12 people, maybe it would be that. It's almost 1 a.m. I have a feeling a lot of you are going to start going to bed. I need someone to be near a walk at all times. So if I need something, I actually need one of you to answer, okay? And now that I have nothing better to do, <sighs> I'm going to head to bed, and I'm either going to wake up well-rested or crushed by 20,000 pounds of dirt. Hopefully I wake up well rested. Sleep is going to be key to finishing this challenge. Because when I'm asleep, I'm not thinking about the fact that I'm trapped in this box. But that only works most of the time. Is there a fly in here? The goal is to sleep as much through this challenge as possible for my own sanity. Oh, look What's at him. He looks so cozy. Jimmy J! No. Nolan drew all over your face. Hey, Nolan, how many hours till your mom comes to set? <laughs> oh, no, I know you're going to say Hopefully she doesn't accidentally crush the coffin. <laughs> so bad. My strategy during this video was to sleep the entire time. I completely forgot, though. My friends are going to annoy me and not let me sleep. This is going to be miserable. I want to start today off by turning these long pants into shorts. Ow. Ow. <laughs> Oh, oh, I just punched that box. Mission one complete. Your boy has shorts. This is our food briefcase. Let's give this MRE a try. MRE stands for meal ready to eat. All you have to do is add hot water and it chemically cooks the food. The boys on the other hand were grilling up steaks and literally feasting on top of my grave. You know, Jimmy, just for you, we're gonna eat MREs for the rest of the time we're out here. Really? Yeah. No. I literally heard Tariq in the background say no. Yeah. Enjoy your hot water pasta in a bag. Meanwhile, this is my reality. Oh, it's crunchy. Why is pasta crunchy? This is, this is great. I was so bored, I actually ended up punching my coffin for fun until my knuckles started to hurt. So I put a sock on my hand so I could keep punching the wall. I'm desperate for entertainment. Oh, Jimmy. Thank God, I'm so bored. One second. <laughs> oh, whoa. What'd you do? Yo, that actually scared me. Can you at least semi explain to me what you're doing? See how my life is on the line? All right. No. <laughs> Unfortunately, the boys are incapable of explaining anything. What they've done is they've stuck a pipe all the way down to my grave, vacuumed the dirt out of it, just to take this surgical wire camera and feed it down and look at me suffer. Hold. Yeah, that's what happens. That's what happens. It's time to go in. <laughs> this is so surgical. What is that? <laughs> Oh, that fly on my leg freaked me out. Get away from me. You want to hold this steady? <gasps> Just keep looking. Oh, move your ass! <laughs> oh, we see him! Having fun? Good night, Jimmy. And when day two was coming to a close, the boys left me to go spend... Is this Nolan's mom? I found a photo of your mom. Bro. <laughs> did you do that? No, that was Bro, who did that? Nolan, is this your mom? Oh my God, she's on his chest. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> Besides somehow losing this picture, if I had to guess what I think would make me quit this challenge, it'd be not wanting to poop underground, back pain, 
back pain, back pain, and maybe some back pain. And obviously you can tell this is already getting pretty hard for me. But like usual, you better bet it's going to get a whole lot worse. It's raining really heavy right now. I just woke up to the sound of thunder. Nolan, mm -hmm. wake up. We gotta check on Jimmy, make sure he's like not crushed. I'm actually kind of concerned. This looks way more funeral-esque. You think that dirt's heavier now? Dirt plus rain is heavy. Jimmy! Is someone drilling? It's one of those days. Ah! I don't even have my pants on yet and things are already getting crazy. Jimmy, can you hear us? What are you doing up there? There are currently 15 speakers on top of your grave. Ah. So if I had to guess, Chris is about to play stupid music. Jimmy, it's a party up here! Oh my... Whoa. Yo, my coffin's actually shaking. Jimmy, there's an earthquake! Oh my god! Wait, what is that? I just noticed there's an unscrewed bolt on the side of my coffin. His screws came loose in the coffin. From the base? Are you kidding me? Literally from the base. Should I be concerned this wasn't screwed all the way in? Max it out! Whoa! What the heck are you doing right now? I'm vibrating! Ugh, these vibrations are kind of hurting my head. Oh, uh, why is there flowers in my hair? I'm freaking out. Okay, let's go dig a tunnel. We're gonna start the tunnel right here and dig all the way into Jimmy's coffin. We have the speakers blaring noise so that he doesn't hear us digging. I've got an idea. We'll play construction noises over the speakers so that way he doesn't hear the excavator. There's a loud noise and no one's answering over the walkie. So either I'm about to die. It's like playing a video game. Or they're about to do something dumb. Except for you could accidentally kill somebody. I've officially crossed the 50 hour mark. I have now been buried longer than I was last time I did this challenge. I promised my doctor that I would move every day so I don't get blood clots. Because apparently laying down for seven days straight can kill you. I was taking a hole. You gotta loosen up the dirt for Chris. I asked the boys to pack dumbbells and they gave me three pound dumbbells. Ow, wow, 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 wow. Oh, I smell so bad. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna do my best not to think about the fact that I could die when I stand up in a couple of days. Chris, go a few feet deeper! I'm not certified to do this at all. I'm bored in a coffin. We definitely stayed up all night and dug this tunnel and didn't pay that guy to do it. Is this safe? I'm going second. What's that? And then you bring up the rear, Tariq. What is that? You guys come right behind me. One of the weird parts about this challenge is there are so many cameras always recording at all times. We should dig a couple more inches and then we're to the coffin. It didn't really bother me the first few days, but I just have this weird feeling someone's always staring at me and it's starting to like kind of irritate me. Oh, there he is. There he is. We've almost got him. What is that sound I hear? Hi, Jimmy. <laughs> what? Hi, Jimmy! 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 Hey, Jimmy, do you see us? I see Nolan's forehead. Yeah, it's hard to miss. How long did it take to dig that tunnel? Literally all night, Jimmy. This is not what I was expecting to happen today. Hey, Nolan, one second. What do you think of that photo? What do I have to do to get rid of that picture of my mom? This is the only thing keeping me sane. How do I get it back? I'm framing this and keeping it forever. I'm sorry. You've been in this coffin for so long that you forgot about what happened to the channel. Yeah! yeah. We're almost at 200 million. You're going to hit 200 million subscribers in that coffin. Wish I could see it live. Me too, my friend. Nolan has a surprise for you as well. We're going to tape this feast with bars to Jimmy. Oh my god, it's so hot down here. Is that the new Feastable Bar? Hey! This is actually pretty good marketing by my friends. Now in every time lapse, Feastables will be there. <sighs> I hope tomorrow's easier. It's a weird feeling. Like, I'm very tired, but for some reason I can't sleep. I don't know, I've never had this happen before. Why am I crying? I don't know. <laughs> oh yeah. It's officially almost there. Jimmy, we got paintball guns, and we're gonna shoot your tombstone. That sounds fun. Can I join? I don't even know what to say to them. 
Jimmy, what have you been doing for fun? Nothing. I'm in mental agony. Have you pooped yet? I have to poop really badly, but I'm gonna see if I can hold it in for the next two days. I don't know why, but I have like no motivation to do anything. I've been laying here for five days and I don't even have enough energy to prepare a meal. And because going to the bathroom down here is so difficult. Don't ask me how, but I accidentally got some pee on my shorts. I'm cutting off the part of my shorts that are infected. Sorry for how short they are now. It's been five days, five days alone in this coffin. I honestly have no idea how I'm going to survive two more days of this. I'm going downhill quickly. Yo, Jimmy. How you doing? Oh, no response. I don't know if he's alive. Nolan, I appreciate you checking in on me and caring, but... Are you actually hanging in there? I don't... Jimmy went from being terrified to an absolute yapster, and now he's a sad boy. I'm doing my best to talk to you guys for content, but to be honest, I have like zero desire to speak. I just want to get out of here. Yeah, he's losing his mind. I think we need to find a way to cheer him up. So I want to make some phone calls. I don't know if I've told you guys this, but I've already used up all my pee bottles. And so basically, whenever I have to pee, I eat one of these meals, and then I just pee in this bag and zip it up. I know that might be too much information. This challenge is disgusting, and I want to leave. Laying down for my final night, all I could think about is whether or not I'd be able to stand when this is over. It's not normal to be laying down and not moving this long. Boys, it has officially been seven days! Yeah! I know you guys don't like doing manual labor, but can you dig me up? We're getting you out, Jimmy! This is the worst part of the challenge, because now I'm just waiting for my stupid friends to dig me up. And of course, there's the added tension of whether or not I'm going to die when I stand up. So, yeah. Bring in the excavator! I bet you when I get out, the first thing they're going to say is how bad I smell. Jimmy, this Santa Claus looking guy is going to bring you out now. Carl, I don't care what he looks like. Just get me out of this coffin! Dig! 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 Any second now, this dirt above me will turn into sunlight. I can't wait. Oh, that's the excavator. Oh, that's scary. I can see sunlight! Hey! Hey! Jimmy! <laughs> it's hard to describe what the sun looks like after not seeing it for seven days straight. Oh my gosh. I started crying once again. I'm not sure why. I just couldn't help it. We did it. <laughs> we did it. The only question that remains now is when I stand up. Am I going to die of blood clots? We'll find out in just a minute. Jimmy, you ready? Don't drop it on me. Ew, I bet it stinks in there. You guys are predictable. I said that's what you would say. Let's not celebrate until I stand up and don't die of blood clots. At least sit up for a second, but wait, 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 wait. Wait for a medic to come down. Do you feel nauseous at all, dizzy? Uh, I don't know. Dude, that's good enough for me. <laughs> good enough, Jimmy. Really good. My first time standing in a week. Oh my god, my legs are weak. Oh, yeah, I didn't die. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Before. I'm good. I do feel like a rush of blood to my head. <laughs> that is actually a crazy feeling. But the real surprise was waiting for me just above ground. Oh wow, there's so many people. After seven days, I was finally able to celebrate 200 million.